Hey weirdos, I am so glad you're here with me right now because I have some exciting news. If you're interested in what's going on with my nails, uh, the builder gel video, which you'll see on my right hand, I'll leave in the cards. The mani on my left hand, you probably are not seeing yet or haven't seen yet, but it will be coming, I promise. We'll get there when we get there. But the purpose of this video, I can't even believe I'm making this video right now and saying what I'm saying, I have hit 20, thousand subscribers on this channel and I can't even believe it. I can't believe it. So I wanted to celebrate in kind of a monumental way. If you want to be entered into this giveaway type situation, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below in the best way to reach you should you win. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Let's get into some of my favorite stuff that the winner might receive. I'm busting out this little basket thing. I keep this near my nail desk. This is all my prep stuff. And these are the products I use all the time. Mia Secret Prep, Mia Secret Extra Bonnet. I'm using gel, UNC Peel Off Base Coat. You guys know how I feel about that. This is my Young Nails Protein Bond. This is all the stuff that I use to get ready for a mani. Sometimes I'll use my Sparkle & Co pH Bond. These are all like dehydrators. This is another peel off base coat from aisle 21 that I found works really, really well. So sometimes I'll grab that too. Just depends on what mood I'm in. They're all essentially like the same products like peel off base coat, prep dehydrator, and primer. And that's for gel products. Um, this is the builder gel that I have on my right hand. Again, I'll leave that video in the upper right hand corner for you guys if you wanna see how I use it. It is my favorite builder gel so far, even though I've not tried many of them. <laughs> that one so far gets a thumbs up from me. So now that we've prepped, we're gonna move on to dip liquids. And this is the basket I keep, again, near my nail desk. These are all like my favorite liquids right now. Uh, you guys have seen me use triple vitamin a hundred million times. It's still one of my go-tos, I use it all the time. Another one that I am really enjoying right now is the Virgo and Gem. You guys have probably seen me do videos on that. I'll leave a video review in the cards for you guys. If I can't fit a video in the cards, I'll leave it in the box down below for you. Make sure you don't go anywhere because I will be announcing giveaway details very soon. Another liquid that I found that I kind of am liking at the moment is a Sparkle & Co liquids. I'm gonna be using them again. I really wanna try out their top coat again. I think I used it before, but it's been a minute. And now I have a bunch of, oh, you know what? Let me bust out my Glitzy. You guys probably have not seen the review of this yet. This is Glitzy dip powder um, dip liquids. I actually really love the dip liquids. Don't look up at the cards because the video is not there yet. <laughs> it will be soon, I promise, but I'll leave it linked in the box for you guys. It's actually in my Amazon storefront. So now that I've gone through some of my favorite bases, activator for the most part is activator. Oh, this is a gel base. For those of you that do like the gel method, this is a gel base coat from iGel that I like. I also like the gel base from Nail Addict LA. This is such a personal preference though. I mean, you gotta like the consistency and the texture and all that jazz. Just what I like. So activator. Activator is pretty much activator, but these are the few that I use on a regular basis. This is the iGel Beauty Activator. I also really like um, the Sparkle Co Activator, although I don't know, someone said it smelled like cupcakes. I don't buy it. <laughs> someone needs to send me the cupcake smell and stuff because mine doesn't smell like that. This is the Virgo and Gem Dip Activator. Um, all of these work. Activator is activator. It cures your base and your top coat if you're using your dip top coat. Speaking of which, we're going to get into that here in just a bit. Um, like I said, I'm going to want to be trying the Sparkle & Co 2.0. That's their like newest version of their glossy dip top coat. So I'm going to give that another shot. I've been feeling dip liquids lately. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I see all these like gel allergies popping up. Are you a gel allergy person? Let me know down below. Um, this is the Glitzy dip top coat that's uh that i did in my review video that again you haven't seen yet but you will and i absolutely loved it it was so good so now i've got some gel top coats if you're a gel top coat kind of person these are the sparkle and co matte and glossy gel top coats uh you probably have already seen me use the poochie nails gel top coats i really really enjoyed that too the aisle 21 gel top coat is sensational i also really like the gel top coat from um i gel beauty and from nail addict la they're all great top coats, all super glossy. They're all no wipe top coats too, which is super cool. And if you're wondering about the top coat that I have on my nails right now, because they're super shiny and beautiful, I used Young Nails. I recently got a little bit of a haul that you're gonna see coming up sometime in the near future. These are all their colors and I used their gel top coat and it's absolutely gorgeous. My pinky is lifting, yes, because of peel base, 
but it's hanging on for dear life. <laughs> if I can get another day out of it, I'll be happy. So those are my favorite liquids. Now we're gonna get into some powder stuff. Some of my favorite powders that I have found over the last year, uh, one of which is iGel Beauty. You guys have probably seen all my raves about iGel Beauty. It's still one of my faves. I love the texture, I love the consistency, I love the company in general, and I just, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of iGel, and believe it or not, they are a small business. They have seemed to explode it over the last couple of months, which I think is absolutely awesome, but small biz. Another small biz that I have fallen in love with is Shimmer and Shine. These are from um, my collab collection with Shimmer and Shine, the hashtag Marla Made Me Do It collection. These are some of my absolute faves, and yes, I'm biased because I helped make them. <laughs> but that's another small company that I absolutely love. Uh, another company, not so much on the small side, is Revel. Revel is a tried and true. Revel is the company that I started with, and I will continue to use because I really enjoy the quality of their products, and their service is phenomenal as well. This color, Stolen, you will see in an upcoming video also, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. A recent find that I am kind of obsessed with is Young Nails. That's what I have on my nails right now. You'll see that video sometime in the near future. Young Nails has a great formula for their powders. I swatched them all. They were very swatchable. I did a mani on my little one. I did a mani on me. And I have zero complaints. I love them to pieces. I didn't try their dip liquids. I did not. I uh, don't know why. Don't ask. But I didn't. <laughs> I like what I like. Leave me alone. But I did grab their powders and I really liked them. Another find um, or realization that I came to this year was that you can use most acrylics as dip powder. Mia Secret is one of those colors. I'm gonna leave a video in the cards for you guys or in the box of a mani I did using Mia Secret Cover Beige as dip powder and it was beautiful. I loved it with my whole heart and it's pretty inexpensive too. Sparkle & Co. This is another tried and true. I love the formulas of these dip powders. I love the uniqueness that a lot of these powders have her glitters her foil dips you guys know how i feel about the foils i have a mandy coming up using one of these colors this is from one of her sub bags uh, so it's an exclusive color to sub bag members for that month they're no longer available if you want info on the sparkle and co subscription bags i'll leave that in the description box for you guys also and <laughs> But wait, there's more. What's his name? <laughs> Billy Mays? May he rest. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Some of my other favorite nail stuff is my stamping plate collection. I know it's obscene. I have a lot of stamping plates. <laughs> a lot. And some of them are from Maniology. This one's from Maniology. I have some from Board Pretty. I have some from Beauty Big Bang. I have some from What's Up Nails. I have a bunch, this one's from Ejubis. I have a bunch of stamping plates and I have gotten very much into stamping over the last year. It's just such a simple way for some, <laughs> not for all, to get some sort of a neat nail art look without having to be an artist per se. Because if you're like me, uh, you could probably draw halfway decent stick figures, and that's about the extent of it. So stamping is just an easy way to kind of get that arty type look without, like I said, having to be an artist. I'm going to show you kind of how I organize my stamping plates, by the way. Not that there's a whole lot of technique to this whatsoever, but I have this little case, like a wallet thing. And I change this out on like seasonally, and I put into this little wallet plates that fit the upcoming videos that I might be filming. So in here I've got Valentine's, Easter, spring, some summer stuff. And then at the end of spring, summer, I'll change it out into my fall and winter stuff. So that way I don't have to go through all of my stamping plates to find one that I want for Halloween. You know, it'll be in my little wallet type thing. Additionally, decals, stickers, all this nail art stuff. This again, this is Lazy Marla nail art. Anything where I don't have to like paint <laughs> or draw, I'm kind of here for. So I've got a lot of decals and all that kind of stuff, stickers. Poshi, I'm obsessed with Poshi. I've used her stuff a bunch. I have plans to use more stuff. Keep an eye out. Um, I think one of my videos coming up in February is gonna be a very, very girly, lovey, sweetheart type Manny, which is so not my cup of tea, 
but I wanted to really jump outside the box. Ooh, do you guys remember the Picasso nails? I'll leave that video in the cards for you guys in case you've missed it. This is nostalgic. <laughs> like going through this stuff going, oh, remember that Manny? That was a good one. Do you guys have like a favorite Manny? Like you just look back to some of the photos you've taken over the last year, or however long you've been dipping and go, maybe that one was my fave and recreate it maybe. I don't know. Should I do a favorite Manny recreate? That'd be a cool idea. Anyway, I digress. Hi, if you're not already subscribed, consider, consider what? Subscribing because I get distracted over normal everyday things that seemingly have no purpose in a nail art video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marla Chris. <laughs> So wood stamping, you do need some sort of polish for to stamp with. Maniology happens to be one of my all-time favorite stamping polish companies. This is just an example of the massive collection that I have. There are so many on the Maniology website. I do also like the Sparkle & Co nail polishes. Not all of them can be used for stamping. You do want like a more opaque and pigmented polish for stamping. Um, but some of the Sparkle & Co ones work really well, but I always will gravitate towards my Maniology stamping polish if I have the color available. I don't have all the colors in the rainbow. I have a lot, but I don't have all. So sometimes I'll reach for, you know, like a, a random polish from Sparkle & Co or Revel or OPI. Yes, I do have some of them and I'll stamp with that if I don't have the color. I actually have a lot of the Hollow Taco stuff. Would you guys want to see like, I don't know, a tutorial or review on that? Let me know down below. I'm giving you so much homework. Do all the things for me in this video, will ya? So, Let's get into some tools that I use. You guys have probably seen me use dotting tools a whole lot. I love these dotting tools. They're some of my faves. I just find it makes it super easy to do certain kind of nail art without having to make straight lines with a brush. For some people, brushes work better. For me, I'm more of a dotting tool kind of girl. And this file is my new favorite file. It's a 150-150, but it's differently textured on both sides. One side is more rough and the rough side I'll use to do like my shaping and my free edge and stuff. And then the softer side I'll use to do my contouring around my cuticle area and stuff like that. So this has been my new favorite file. I look back at the days where I was using a hundred grit file to do all my filing and I'm like, yeah, no wonder you file through your color all the time, Marla Chris. <laughs> Too rough. Too rough of a file. And from files, we move on to the buffers. Now I know, well, I don't know actually, so you'll have to tell me. I don't know if you guys have like a buffer preference, but I have a menagerie of different buffers, as you can see. And um, I use them all. <laughs> I don't really have a preference as long as it gets the job done that I need it to do. I'm happy with a buffing block. Um, I typically will reach for that big rectangle orange one that you see. Don't know why. Um, I like the grit of it. Grits can vary, but I find that it really also depends on what I'm doing on my nails. If I'm doing a very dark colored nail, I don't want a strong grit. I want a very fine grit. That way you don't see like lines of demarcation and stuff like that, but totally a personal preference. Buffers are buffers. I have a bunch of them in my storefront. Um, if you are in the market for a new buffer, check some of them out. Um, I don't know, buffers or buffers. It's not something that's super important to me. Uh, I find that the easier, the better your application is, the less time you have to spend filing and buffing. So skip all that nonsense and just practice your application. Oh, speaking of application, you guys probably see me use these cuticle sticks all the time cleaning up my nails, but I had a recent discovery. Recent discovery. So these are great, but you have to throw them out. They're single use mostly. But I found these like stainless steel and they're gorgeous. These stainless steel, I think they're toothpicks technically, but I'm like, this is gonna be great for cleaning around the cuticle and that's completely reusable. And isn't it pretty? It's gorgeous and I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is gonna quickly become one of my new faves. I just, I can feel it. And look at the precision tip on it. I think you can get a much tighter cuticle line with this kind of tool than you can with a cuticle stick. Probably more similar to a very, very small, narrow toothpick. I guess that's why they call it a toothpick, right? So that's a recent discovery. Um, you will see it probably in an upcoming video and I'll give you my full impression and thoughts on it. Um, it is from Amazon, as is most of the stuff that I use, just so you know. <laughs> and last but not least, well, kind of. I'm gonna show you, if you haven't already seen, my favorite like cuticle care stuff, and that is 
I need skincare. I have been using this stuff. Actually, I was just talking to CJ about this. Um, my Candyversary just passed in October. I've been using Candy Skin for, Candy what? Candy Skin Care for just over a year. And it has completely changed my entire nail game. Not because it does something magical. This is not magic. It's not, you know, gonna transform your nails overnight. It's not because that's impossible. But I find using this over time, constantly and consistently, it just really, healed my cuticles from when I started doing my nails and didn't know what the hell I was doing <laughs> and keeps them looking healthy and nice and I just have nothing bad to say. Hot Mess Marla, by the way, this is a collab that Candy and I did. It is still available. I'm gonna leave info in the box for you guys and the original release video in the cards. Proceeds go to my local Humane Society. So if you wanna grab the Hot Mess Marla cuticle oil or main candy or lotion or pens, you can save some local floor friends too, and I appreciate that. Now check this out. This is the last thing that I have that's a recent fave. I do my na my manis typically with like a glass of wine, and I found an Etsy shop, and I had them make this tumbler, and I am so obsessed and in love. It's not a decal, it's not a sticker. This is etched into the tumbler, and I just think, it's so me and it's so classy and elegant and beautiful at the same time. I'm obsessed. I am absolutely obsessed. And now that I am done with my recent faves, I wanna tell you what the winner will receive. Not only will the winner and I create together a custom dip kit with a bunch of my favorite stuff, including the little wine tumbler that you see, but the winner is also gonna get a one-on-one -on -one Manny date with moi, probably via Zoom or FaceTime or one of those things. So if that's something you're excited about, definitely enter. Make sure you comment down below the best way to reach you. Give me your IG handle, your email, whatever. Give the video a big thumbs up because we love giveaways and be subscribed and I'll pick the winner in about a week. I just wanna say thank you guys so much again for all of your love and support. I am incredibly thankful and honored, not just to be here, but to be here with you on your journey. So until the next one, love you, bye.